Hey everybody, Frugal Farmer here. Um, laying out where my frames are going to go, and I've I've cut them. I've I've laid them out where the uh, glass is, but there's a piece that's bigger than that. So when I start cutting that out, I'll cut to the side of the line, and I may draw it out. I may not. I may just do it freehand. But this is the front of the frame, and this is the back. So what I'll do, I'll glue and put a couple of screws going into here, and that way this will help support the rest of this. I almost made a mistake. I've got a pretty good eye about seeing if something's out of kilter just by looking at it. If it's tilted the wrong way, uh, it's just, I guess, from building and working with stuff all these years. But... I had been thinking these boards were seven and a half. Actually, they're seven and three quarter, and it had thrown me. And this is my guide for the top. And um, that's where I mark center. So I've got this one centered. Then I'll measure everything off of here. And that way, everything will be symmetrical from top to bottom and to the sides. And uh, there may be just a little sixteenth of an inch here or there, but I'm not worried about that. But what I'm going to do, I will cut these out. And... Uh, then I'll take and uh, glue the frames on there. I've got three of these frames I'm going to put on here. And uh, I'd even made a little guide, but I just used a picture frame. And the guide, as you can see, that could be an old political sign, but made a good pattern for me. And um, this wood's hard to work with, but it's worth it the way it looks. And these picture frames are going to pop on here. And... Uh, if I can get everything cut out this evening, which I'm not doing anything else, so I should be able to. I'll be able to uh, get the frames glued on, and then tomorrow everything will be ready. That's what I'm hoping for. If it works, it works. If it don't, it won't. And uh, I may do a reverse outline with the chalk to kind of give me a guide on where to go, but I should be able to do it pretty freehand to get extra space on there to compensate for the... Uh, there's a little back piece that goes on these frames that hold the pictures in, and uh, I'll uh, have those where they can go through the back. And uh, you just see, just look at the grain on this stuff. And the, I, I, I wish you, there was some way, you know how they did carbon dating? I wish you could get this wood to just tell you, you know, what it's seen, where it was at, you know, and... Oh, just the stories stuff could tell. Like antiques. I always wonder, like a chair, who sat in you, really? And um, there was a chair that uh, one of the presidents had set in that this guy owned. And if he said a president sat in it, I believe him. Uh, he's an old World War II vet, but he, he's the one who got me collecting old signs and stuff. He had a slew load of stuff. He had a original Model A that he bought. He courted his wife in it and he kept it all the years. He was a real good mechanic, real good carpenter. He could, if it was wiring, building, or working on it, he could do it. I'm sorry about the engine noise. Some people having to get stuff delivered this time of the evening. And, uh, but this is uh, a part of the project, and uh, this was. The, uh, I almost messed up, and you see right there where I, my biscuit joiner came out, but I thought I could cut that out, and it, it'll work out just fine, so I'm not worried about it. It is what it is. Thanks for stopping by. Come back again when you will. Share, comment, like, hit that subscribe button. God bless.